Valerie from Bowdy and Blends on the Cloth Diaper Podcast, oh, I don't know, a couple years ago now. And last year when I was updating my stash and I was shopping with Gemma and Way, I decided to pick up a Bowdy and Blends cloth diaper. This is an all-in-two style diaper or a hybrid style or I don't know. You know what? Honestly, I would call it a snapping cover. This is a snapping cover cloth diaper. If you want to learn the story of Babby and Blends, I would recommend that you check out that episode with Valerie. You can learn about why she designed this product the way she did. We're going to take a look at what's all in this and then I'll give you the lowdown about my thoughts. All right, this is the Babby and Blends one size snap-in diaper cover. This is a standard diaper cover. It's one size fits most and it has four rise settings. You'll notice that bottom rise setting quite low. One, two, three, four, giving you that size. We've got a waist, dirty closure, and a bottom hip snap. You'll notice already that it has quite a narrow crotch. So I'm about to grab a rig and gig pocket diaper. The rig and gig pocket diaper is pretty much a standard pocket shape, not much different to it. And when we put this diaper over top, we really see how narrow that crotch gets on the Babby and Blends. I'm trying to rack my head of other diapers that are this narrow at the moment. I didn't grab any, but the Super Bottoms comes to mind. Uh, the Funky Fluff comes to mind, which I think I compared this. No, I compared the Funky Fluff to another diaper. But the narrow crotch is really going to be hit or miss. It's not always the best choice when you're wanting trimness. This is the general shape of this diaper. Um, it's got quite an hourglass cut to it, which is, you know, good or bad. Flipping the diaper inside, we see that it is a double PUL line diaper and it's wipeable. So you can swap out this insert, wipe it or let it dry. This insert is just chilling <laughs> and I have no idea. I'm recording over my voice and you never know. You see that it snapped here at the top. There's only one top snap in the Babby and Blends. There's no front snap. So if you like a double snap in diaper, this is not it. The leg elastics are quite narrow and thin and there is a back elastic. It is double PUL again, wipeable. So you can see that there's no crevices. There's nothing. It's simple, straightforward kind of shell. You either love it or you hate it. This is the insert. It's a contoured insert. It's made with five layers of hemp cotton. It says 100% hemp, but there's no way it's 100% hemp. Hemp is always blended with something. So it features this gusseted leg elastic in it, which is something we see in Grovia's elastic, um, diaper shell insert things. We don't see them a lot of places anymore. These are really hit or miss. Like, I don't know, it's a cool idea. But to me, I'm just like, yikes, that looks like a good way to get poop stuck in there. It is quite thick because it is five layers of hemp bamboo blend. And the snap is on the tag, which is odd. It is short and I feel like maybe, oh yeah, this is here. See, I snapped it all the way down and I was like, okay. When it's snapped all the way down, it is a good shape. I think with a boy, you might want to unsnap that insert though so that you get the insert where you need to be. Just because a diaper is snapped or just because a diaper has a snap somewhere doesn't mean you have to use that snap. You really should make the diaper work for you. All right, so I've called it a day. We've snapped up this in diaper. It gets quite small. I do love how tiny it is. I hate using the hip snaps. So if you also hate bottom hip snaps, but you find that you're getting a wing droop, you can always pull them up and get this little bunny ear push those elastics up so that you make sure that you get the elastics pointing upwards and have no leaks. I found that the insert stuck out a little bit when I had it bundled up like this. I don't know how it would fit on a baby because I don't have a baby. This is the back. Again, beautiful print, succulent. That's about it for now. I don't love this product. I can see the innovation, the creativity, and the passion that went in to making this a diaper that meets her needs and many parents' needs. But for me, this diaper needs a little bit more trial and error, a little bit more user input. The motto that I've started to embrace lately has been all diapers are designed for beginners because every time I get on the phone with a cloth diaper brand, they're like, I just, I needed a diaper that was simple or I needed a diaper that was easy or I needed to make it easier for myself. I think everybody goes into the process of designing a diaper for a beginner, for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. 
and an attempt to make it easier. But beginner is such a vague term. And the snap on the tag I find is less than ideal. This long-term use really worries me and I wish that it was in the diaper shell itself. I wonder what patents that Grovia has on their inserts that are contoured with elastics and if that's a big block. If it is, I'd be a little frustrated. This is where, like, if we watch the Blythe, you know, like, I have mixed feelings about patents because sometimes patents feel like they prevent innovation. You know, like, I'd love to see more products with this style diaper. Is it because of the patent or is it because this is not actually functional? Those are probably conversations for another day. So this is not my favorite product. I love the density of this insert. I don't love the snap placement. That's probably it. I wish that the snap was actually in the diaper itself. I know that it's not because this is too thick to snap through. So you would need to put a different layer and then snap it. I know that everybody and anyone wants trim diapers. You want your diaper to be trim, 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 trim. I don't think the answer to trim is narrow crotches. I think that you do need a little bit more width in the crotch, especially for your insert. If your insert is wider than your PUL, to me, that's concerning. So I would want a little bit more width there so that we can have that nice seal along the leg so there is less chance of gapping and leaks. But that's just my thoughts as somebody who hasn't actually tried this on a child. Um, I might have bins and bins and bins of diapers, but doesn't mean I've actually know how this will function. I'm a skeptic, but why don't you give it a whirl and write a review and let me know. I would love to share your thoughts and opinions. You can always leave a comment over at simplymombailey.com where I wrote this review so that you can help other parents find products that work for them. I mean, one of the hardest parts right now about our industry is there's not a lot of review content out there, which is why I'm trying to do these videos to encourage you to also come and join me. I don't want to be the only one doing reviews. I want you to thrive and succeed in this. Uh, I'm sure that you guys have lots of thoughts on that. I have tried testers and stuff and I'm not a huge fan of the tester model. I just, I don't know. The tester model has never like really worked for me. What I would love though, is to see more content creators creating amazing content about cloth diapering. And I know that you can do it. And if you need help with it, come join us at the cloth diaper content creator meetings. We meet once a month to chat about whatever is going on. Um, sometimes we chat about how to launch sales. Sometimes we launch, write about reviews and we have a Facebook group where we share information and advice about creating content, working with brands and remembering to value ourselves.